came to this car meet tonight. Let's see who we can show up. I don't even know how to interact with these people. I can't even see them through like clouds of vapor. And their they're poor sounding engines and lack of turbos and diesel fuel. So, feel a little bit out of place. I don't know what to do here. Hey Hunter, what happened? How come they didn't want your uh, stub? So I, I pull in here, do a big old slippery 38 inch tire drift into the parking lot. I see the line of lowered cars of questionable sexualities. And um, <laughs> I line up right in line with them. And then I promptly got kicked out. Apparently, I didn't blend in well enough with them. <laughs> and they had, a, they had that spot reserved for a Dodge Viper. I was something. gonna say that. Was, <laughs> I could see why they didn't want you parked over there. <laughs> In all fairness. <laughs> meet was kind of lame so we found a nice snowy canyon to go explore Aaron down right now and uh see if we can get stuck see if we can get our buddy stuck and see how cold and tired we can get tonight <laughs> all right stub truck snow adventure oh yeah what's the expectation of this well we got the stub truck that has locked this front and rear so it's gonna do pretty good uh but we are bringing this truck and this stock jeep gladiator so I'm guessing them two will get stuck and I'll be the last guy standing and then I'll have to try to pull them out. But who knows, maybe I get too sendy and run this guy off a cliff or something. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> you know, yeah, I mean, I've learned to not come up with any expectations of days like today. Well, gotta get your seatbelt on. Yeah. Can't forget that. Oh, well, looks like we have a stuck Prius up here. You guys good? Alright. <laughs> Prius made this match. Hopefully the stub truck's a little better than a Prius. Alright, looks like we still got both trucks with us. The stub truck's ride quality is a little bit below average in comfort. Yeah, it's just straight ice. All this snow melted in every rose. There's ice skating now. <laughs> got some folks bringing down a Christmas tree here. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> Good. Oh no. Oh, I just let you get in front. Uh, my clutch pedal just went out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> What's going on? Off the, off the oh. <laughs> yeah, that's an issue. 
<laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Come on. Come on, keep, keep lowering the pressure. <laughs> huh. Well, my clutch pedal just went limp. And then I guess he let too much air on his tire. Because we're off to be here. So we're off to a hot start of this trail. Um, pretty good limited slip diff on the rear axle, so I might spend the rail on the same rate as the other side. Might like to tear things off. It's all downhill going yeah. home. Yeah. So that'll be good. Yeah. I'll, I'll start going and we'll see. Skeeter, you want to see how this wheel's going? It's so cold and stiff, it's just going to act like it has air. <laughs> it's not like there's that much weight on that corner. So. Right, Go forward, on. let's watch you. Right. Dude, honestly, I think you're gonna be alright. <laughs> we'll see if yeah. it starts going. Right, right now. <laughs> Front's off the bead. Let us down today. <laughs> Lost two tires and a clutch. So, this is fine. We're working out the kinks. Uh, we're going to try to roll back down this hill to a better spot to work on this thing. But we're kind of thinking that maybe the tires will come off the rims altogether and then we'll just ice skate along the rims. But that, that could turn into a very bad idea quick, I feel like. But well, as long as the change. cameras are rolling, <laughs> what, what kind of degrees we got here? You know, based on what I'm seeing, I'm thinking we're about 16 degree incline. All right. It's also 15 degrees <laughs> Fahrenheit. That one might come off. Oh, it's, it's frozen. <laughs> A little cold in there? Yeah, it's cold out here for some reason. <laughs> trick is everything I, I put a nice big bottle jack in that and it has some big solid wood boards that we can put the jack on top of so the snow can support it yeah pretty much anything that's in Aaron's truck bed oh uh, it's all in Aaron's okay yeah all right. a jack pieces of wood 
and tires. Skeeter to the rescue. <laughs> oh, oh, right there. Alright. Jacking off this front corner. And... <laughs> <laughs> it's a little hard to slap get this tire on and we'll be out of here. I'm really curious to see how the truck will behave with the different diameter tires, front and rear, and four-wheel drive. It's a little hard to get the desired elevation game uh, with it being as cold as it is, but uh, Hunter's uh, doing his magic with his hands, and uh, oh, yeah. we should get We're there. Getting it done. It's a little colder than that with the air moving. <laughs> yeah, with that wind. Yeah. Uh, you guys really thought we would have an air compressor or even like a valve flow remover or like starting fluid or like or a normal jack. Any yeah, better jack. You guys think too highly of us. <laughs> We're coming back here, Hunter. Oh yeah. We gotta come back. We gotta conquer this trail. Do some cyclones. Yeah. Do some cyclones. We made it almost up to the flat area up there. I feel, nice and nice, the other side for some. I feel bad because we would have made it if we wouldn't yeah. have freaking aired the tires down. I'm like, we need to air the tires down. <laughs> <laughs> Zero. Yeah, the rubber was just so cold that the sidewall was holding it all the weight and they weren't bulging out much. So. All right, Hunter, what's the plan? We're back on four good tires. And we're going to try to just go right back down the mountain and get out of here tonight. All right. Um, our buddy Trevor just showed up. He has an air compressor in his truck, so we may try to at least air up these two that we aired down earlier. Hands digging into my shroud. Alright, right, we're back off the mountain. Stuff's on the trailer. Time to go home. Time to make improvements to the stuff truck from what we learned. Okay, people, I have a damage report of the stub truck. We have some carnage. Can you tell me what is wrong here? <laughs> the whole bell housing cracked all the way around. This is why my clutch pedal quit working. Because my slave cylinder just yeeted its little stick out of there, and now it's not pushing on the clutch fork anymore. Transmission mount got shredded too and the uh, front drive line is riding on the cross member now so we have some work ahead of us the good thing is with these four speed transmissions is the bell housing is separate and it bolts with four bolts i think just four so you just pull the trans out put a new bell housing in and get this thing going again all right let's see if this goes smooth Probably gonna drop pretty violently. Oh, yeah. Nice and secure. Certified Perfect. transmission strap. Yeah. You know, I guess we don't even have to tackle bell housing bolts right now because <laughs> the uh, bell housing is cracked in half, so. So he's probably ready to slide right out. And then we'll just throw this thing on our shoulders and oh, boot thought, scoot on out of here. I thought you were get under there and chest press it, you know? Uh, I did 500 push-ups two days ago. Still recovering from that. <clears throat> Weak. All right, today is chest day. <clears throat> Even though yesterday and the day before were chest day. <laughs> Let's go. All right, this is about to suck without a transmission jack, but here we go. Good. <laughs> we 
We did it! Ah. This is fine. <laughs> oh, I can't drink this drink. That was so easy. Piece of cake. So easy. I just had to not be able to breathe for a second, but that's a minor ask. But yeah, that's quite the build housing we got oh, there. Oh, yeah. Get a load of that. Whoo, clean break all the way around. <laughs> I wonder if this is bent at all. Hmm. Looks pretty good from. I don't know it looks pretty that. steady. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Sweet. And now we have this new bell housing to work with. So this will bolt to the original transmission that we had in this. And then we'll be up and going again. This is going to go terribly. Here, I can ready? support this in the air. Okay. If you want to readjust the ratchet strap. Sure. I think I can. Okay. Yeah, we look pretty dang close. Massaged into the pilot there. <laughs> Ooh. Like that. Like that. Ah. We're in. <laughs> We're in. Hey, that was way easier. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Professionals. Woo Don't try this at home, folks. Yeah, no. <clears throat> Unless you go to the gym like Hunter does. Like Hunter and Aaron. Yeah. We've been in the gym lately. We don't have to go today, though. Not after that. how we trust the both of our lives with this old frayed ratchet strap. But they mm. always take care of you. Uh, That's easy. Maybe try to route the ratchet strap under here. You can try that. Okay. Press. <laughs> this French strap's about to go. <laughs> go. 
got a good fray over here. Zipper in the point. All right, we are safe, mostly. Just gotta get this cross member in and then we're done. There we go. Okay. <laughs> I knew that would, we had the frame sucked in with that ratchet strap so much. I knew that running that bolt in would start spreading that frame again. Well, safe. Safe. Told you we were safe. <laughs> I never doubted it. Yeah. yeah. Don't do this at home, people. We're not teachers of how to do this stuff. We're just idiots that are supposed to be providing entertainment to you guys. So hopefully we're accomplishing that.